Good morning. Namaste. I want to welcome you to this moment. I want to welcome you to the here and the now. I want to welcome you to the high life. This morning, I want to share with you something very simple, a small practice of mine that has the potential to really raise your awareness of honor, value, and your perception of humanity. So it was in 2010 that I had a very powerful encounter with God. Except in that moment, it felt as if I had myself been merged with God. So all of my present identities and beliefs and all of that kind of got ripped from my mind. It was almost like it was just pulled from my mind and I was merged with God. Whatever was left couldn't really remain. I stayed in a pile of mush for about three months of constant um, ecstasy. And that ecstasy has continued until this day, more than 10 years later. Uh, for more than 10 years, I've lived in a continual state of euphoria. But what was revealed to me is one of the things my guru, Jesus, did, or is recorded that he did, was that when he was hanging on the cross, being crucified, he looked out, hanging on this cross upon the hill of Golgotha, looks out over all of creation, and in this very beautiful moment says, it is finished. And the word finished there is tetilio, it means perfect, complete, holy. It is perfect. It was looking at every man, woman, and child, even those who have crucified him, and he was saying, you are perfect. You are good. Because in this moment of clarity, you can see through that one singular lens. If your eye be single, your whole body is full of light. And I, I began to bow as a practice. I don't know how long I've been doing it, for a handful of years maybe. Because I when I see you, when I look at you, I see God. I don't see just another human being, just another person. I see God. When I stare into your eyes, I see myself. I see who you are beyond the form. I see who you are beyond your ideas, your beliefs. I see God. And this practice of bowing and this namaste is just basically to say I, I see you as God. We are one and I see you as God. I see the divine in you. And so every time I bow to you in the morning, every morning I bow to you before every video and at the end of every video and sometimes in between. And The reason I'm doing that is because I want you to recognize, I want you to realize, I want you to begin to see in your own self, in your own nature, that your truest nature, that your truest self, that is ultimate reality, as is one with God. You do not need to pursue Him. He has been found, she has been found, the divine has been found within you. And such a simple thing. There was a story of God and these creatures when mankind was first made. And God came to the creatures of the earth and said, Hey, 
If I was going to hide something so precious, where would I hide it? I want to hide it for them, not from them, but so that man will search and seek it and find it. And so he said, and this thing that I'm hiding is their true self, is their true nature. And um, various animals came with ideas to God. And uh, one of the, the animals, uh, a whale, comes and says, hide it in the depths of the ocean. They, they'll never find it there. They, they will search and search. And God says, yes, but they're very creative, man. And they might find, they might go and find it there. And uh, an eagle comes and says, well, hide it in the very heights of the sky. For they will never find it there. And he says, oh, but they will surely create something that can fly into the heights of the sky and find it. A mountain goat came and said, Hide it on top of the mountain, deep in the snow. And we'll never find it there. And God said, No, I fear that they might. And after all the animals had come, God says, I know where I'll hide it. I'll hide it in a place that they will never look. I'll hide it within them. The kingdom of God is within you. I am simply here to point you to that. To reveal that. And sometimes we have been hiding behind so many layers of belief. They must be pulled back to reveal what has always been. And that is your divine nature. Jesus was asked about this. They came to him and were accusing him of being an heretic. And he, they said, how can you call God Father? And how can you call him yourself equal and one with God? And this is heresy. And uh, Jesus looks at him and says, doesn't it even say in your own scriptures in the psalm that uh, you are gods? You are sons of gods. It's time to wake up to the truth. Sometimes you can't see it for yourself because you've been so burdened with sight. You've been so blinded by your own perceptions that you can't see what has always been here. And this is when you need someone like me to simply point to what you truly are and who you truly are. I would encourage you to begin to practice bowing and the namaste not as just a way to say hi but in intentionality with intentionality to say i see you as i say to my students all the time until you can see god in yourself the christ in yourself you will not see christ in another until you see christ in another you will not see christ in yourself We are one. I love you. Please drop whatever questions or comments you have for me in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. And uh, talk to you tomorrow.